Have you ever stared up at a clear night sky and wondered about the vast mysteries of the cosmos? Imagine standing under a blanket of stars, gazing at the Milky Way, our very own galaxy. It's an awe-inspiring sight, but did you know that the true size of the Milky Way is still one of astronomy's biggest questions? While some sources, including NASA, estimate it to be 100,000 light years across, recent studies suggest it might be much larger, even 10 times bigger. In today's video, we'll dive deep into the fascinating world of galactic measurements, explore how new technology is bringing us closer to uncovering the Milky Way's true size and what this means for our understanding of the universe. Stay with us till the end of this video to know more. Studying the Milky Way is much harder than studying other galaxies. That's because we're inside it, making it impossible to get a complete view like we do with other galaxies. Different parts of the Milky Way block our view of other parts. Our solar system is also located in the outskirts, meaning looking to one side involves seeing through a lot more galactic material than the other. Despite these challenges, scientists have been mapping our galaxy for centuries, piecing together our place in the universe. Before determining the Milky Way's size, scientists needed to define its edge. Much like how our atmosphere gradually fades into space, the Milky Way fades into intergalactic space without a clear boundary. Scientists had to select a specific point to mark the edge. For example, a 2020 study estimated the Milky Way's boundary based on its gravitational pull on nearby galaxies, concluding a diameter of 1.9 million light years with a margin of error of 400,000 light years. Often astronomers set a galaxy's boundary where the density of matter drops below a certain threshold. If a region has 200 times more matter than the surrounding space, it's considered part of the galaxy. The distance from the galaxy's center to this boundary is known as the virial radius. Doubling this radius gives an approximate diameter. However, pinpointing the virial radius is complex. One study estimated the Milky Way to be between 1.5 to 2.3 million light years across, based on computer models that suggest stars exist far out in the galaxy, even though these stars haven't been observed directly. Astronomers who calculate the Milky Way's size rely on observing a few stars over 80,000 light years from its center. The farther a star is, the dimmer and harder it is to observe necessitating advanced equipment for accurate measurement. Currently, we can reliably measure stars located 80,000 to 100,000 light years from the center. Even if the Milky Way's visible part spans only 200,000 light years, we know it's much larger due to the presence of dark matter. Dark matter, an abundant yet elusive form of matter, doesn't emit light or energy, making it invisible. It forms a massive spherical halo around the galaxy. When astronomers refer to the virial radius, they mean the radius of this dark matter halo. Although invisible, dark matter's gravitational effects help astronomers estimate its size by observing the behavior of visible stars. Tracking a star's distance from the galactic center and its orbital speed is crucial for understanding the Milky Way's structure. If we only consider visible matter, star speeds should increase and then decrease with distance from the center, following the pattern of gravitational pull. However, for the past 50 years, astronomers have observed that these speeds remain steady, indicating the presence of much more mass than what is visible. This extra mass is attributed to dark matter, by studying a group of stars, astronomers estimate that the dark matter halo's mass could be up to 2.5 trillion times that of our Sun, though it's likely closer to 1 trillion. For comparison, all visible matter in the Milky Way totals about 60 billion times the Sun's mass. Recent studies, however, 
suggest these estimates might be significantly off. Using the latest data from the Gaia Space Telescope, astronomers are refining these measurements. Gaia's mission involves mapping the positions and movements of over a billion stars with unprecedented precision. The most recent Gaia data, updated in 2022, includes observations of stars up to about 98,000 light-years from the galactic center with twice the precision of previous data. This enhanced precision allows for more accurate measurements of stars' orbital speeds in these distant regions, revealing unexpected findings. Astronomers noticed a drop-off in star speeds at these distances that shouldn't exist if the dark matter halo was as massive as previously thought. This suggests the total mass of our galaxy might be about 200 billion times that of the Sun, significantly lower than the earlier estimate of 1 trillion. This new estimate implies a dark matter to regular matter ratio of about 2.3 to 1 for the Milky Way, lower than the typical 10 to 1 ratio observed in similar galaxies. Several possibilities could explain this discrepancy. One is that Gaia's data provides a more accurate view of the Milky Way, indicating less dark matter than previously believed. Alternatively, the stars sampled by Gaia might not represent all stars at that distance, or the observed speed dip could be an anomaly. Future observations, including further updates from Gaia and data from the upcoming Rubin Observatory, will be crucial in resolving these uncertainties and uncovering the true size of the Milky Way. The revised mass estimate for the Milky Way following the 2022 update presents a compelling shift in our understanding of our galactic home. Gaia's enhanced precision reveals a surprising drop-off in stellar orbital speeds, challenging previous assumptions about the galaxy's mass particularly in relation to dark matter. This discrepancy in the dark matter to regular matter ratio compared to other galaxies underscores the complex nature of cosmic phenomena. However, the forthcoming data from Gaia's 2025 update and observations from the Rubin Observatory promise to illuminate these mysteries further. Despite uncertainties regarding its dimensions, the Milky Way's vastness remains a source of wonder, inviting exploration and contemplation. The juxtaposition of its seemingly modest name with its immense scale serves as a poignant reminder of the vastness and intricacies of the cosmos, inspiring continued inquiry and awe. What do you think will be the actual size of the Milky Way galaxy? Let us know in the comments section below and like share and subscribe to our channel for more intriguing content on space science.